Hi and welcome to this video overview of what's new in Chaos Player Update 1. This release adds a new feature called the Contact Sheet. This can be used to visualize different versions of a shot and pick the best one, or to lay out the render elements in a single sequence to make sure that all the data is there. Let's see how it works. I have a couple of tracks here and I've added color corrections to one of them. And using this new icon on the toolbar, I can simply enable the contact sheet to have them side by side on the screen. Or I can have a single sequence, and by tweaking the sheet options, I can have all of the render elements in the sequence laid out in a sheet. There is a separate video dedicated entirely on the contact sheet. I'll leave a link in the description, so make sure to check it out. In update one, you can now specify the default color mapping for different file types. The sequence I have here has been rendered in the ACCG color space. So to display it correctly, I need to apply the same OCIO configuration that was used when rendering it. Once I've loaded my OCIO file, I can right click in this field and select set as default for the current file format. Now, when I open another EXR file, it will have the same color mapping configuration loaded. And I can do this for other file formats in Chaos Player will remember my choice. So changing the color mapping to other types is done in the same way, but what about resetting it to not use any color mapping? That's why we've added this None option. So if you switch to None and then select Set as Default, this file type will no longer have any color mapping preferences. We've also updated the playback hotkeys. You can use L to play forward, K to stop, J to play backwards, and you can also use Shift and L or Shift and J to jump 10 frames forwards or backwards. We had to slightly modify the hotkeys for viewing the different image channels like red, green, blue, alpha, and luma. There's no change to the R, G, B, and A hotkeys but switching to Luma is now done with the Alt and L key combination. And for consistency, you can use Alt with R, G, B, and A to switch to the respective channels as well. This release hopefully makes working with Chaos Player a bit more intuitive. We've changed some UI components to have standard names, which means that we now have projects and you can open and save projects and we can export a frame or a sequence either from a selected layer or the entire composition. So this should make it easier to find the correct command in the menus. We've made sure to add command flags with the same names, although the old ones are still there for compatibility. For example, you can pass flags such as new project or export composition frame. You can check the documentation for more details and I'll leave a link in the description. There was also a request that it wasn't obvious that changing the frame was done with the time flag, so we added the frame flag that does the same. Chaos Player Update 1 includes other improvements and bug fixes, so make sure to update to the latest version. Thank you for watching.